there's a, a lot of online selling of records, but uh, the, real, the real fun is going into a shop and digging through the crates, digging through the bins, and oh, that looks interesting. And, and then we, given that we probably know something about what, what we have, uh, we can tell some stories and have some fun and connect some dots. Music trivia enthusiasts who seek answers to even obscure musical questions. Otis Redding. This one's, this one's special because it's uh, white label. Are likely to find answers within White Bear Lake Records, the trio of owners turning their love of vinyl into a business. And I think a lot, of, a lot of vinyl people share, we're really curious about, about music, kind of d delving into the history of it in all of its formats from uh, the early, early part of the 20th century to now. The store, located in downtown White Bear Lake, closed on March 18th and reopened on May 25th. Offering online concierge services during the COVID closing to stay afloat, but worrying about their ability to stay in business beyond. I think we're doing okay. the the thing that the thing that really um, the thing that really worked in our favor is that we're small. It's only 400 square feet, um, so so we we have a maximum of two customers in the store at a time because you can't social distance with many more than any more than two people plus plus one of us in there. Despite their small space, the owners provide an ever-changing and extensive inventory of new and used vinyl. Yeah, one, of, one of the things about records, too, is that there's all the different versions of things. Also selling stereos, speakers, vintage books, and VHS tapes. You know, we have kids who come in for VHS tapes, so, you know, and that's, it's, it's all in cassette tapes, and it's like, that's, it, it's mind-blowing because it's such a, you know, would you would you watch a VHS right now? You know, it's it's hysterical. Kind of. It's it's awesome to see. You know, they're appreciating something that's old and dusty. Both Miller and Valenti say they welcome the younger generation's interest in vinyl, often sparked by inheriting a record playing system. That's a, there I am. Oh wow! And invite music lovers of all ages to come in and explore records. They, they do make you sit down and you have to pay attention for longer than five minutes. It's relaxing, it's a ritual. 